So there's a lot of single mothers that always be asking about why some of these brothers are so turned up on some of the sisters, even though it was raised with a single mother and didn't have a father. Well, I want you let's let's review this clip of what his brothers say because people really don't understand. They don't even want to talk about how bad some of these mothers are. Somebody tagged me in a post, and the post said, "How do black men grow up with single mothers and don't have respect?" for black women. Let me tell y'all a story. I was talking to a woman some years back and I gotta say talking, I can't even say dating because it was really just something casual. But she had kids. One of her sons was like 17, 18 years old. I get a text message at two o'clock in the morning talking about I come through. I think the house is empty. So I show up for Bible study. Long story short, praise and worship starts getting. Okay, so he said, so he thought that she, the kids was gone. They were doing their own thing, whatever, right? But that woman knew the whole time when she called that man over, her, her sons was there. Okay, she knew this. Extremely loud, and the headboard starts hitting the wall, and she says, oh, we got to be quiet. My son's in the other room. Whole time, I've been banging on this man's wall. I ain't even know it. I ain't signed up for that. Low-key, I felt bad for Buddy. The next morning comes, I hear him washing dishes, walking around the house, talking to his homeboy about playing Call of Duty and all that. It's time for me to go, and I say, hey, I don't think it's best that your son sees me. She says, oh, he'll be all right. I would even taken into account how any of that may affect him. And it concerned me because... And it does affect him. Seeing man after man after man coming in and out the house that's not their father. Hell yeah, that, that it has an effect on a, on a boy and a girl too. It definitely has an effect. How many men has he seen come in and out of his house like that? How mm -hmm. can he respect another woman when a random man cares more about his well-being than his own mom? A lot of times y'all ask that mother respect question assuming that the mother was respectable. You know, a lot of times when you have a lot of brothers that's so turned up on, on the sisters, I'm telling you as a man, a lot of it comes from their mother. It don't come from the women they were dating. It comes from their mother. The only thing that the women that they date that's in the community can do is just maybe do or say something that triggers them from their childhood. There's something about their mother. Now, some of them, some women may say, well, some of these men don't even want to fool with black women, but we look like their mama. Exactly. Exactly. That some of their mamas have done them so bad that some of them have just turned away even from black women. Some of them because of their mama. I'm telling you, a lot of it is with their freaking mama. That so, listen, in the black community, oh, mama just so great. Mama do this. Mama strong. Mama work, man. They got mamas out here that who are whores. They got mamas out here who just drop their kids off at a, a grandma house just so she can always go out to the club somewhere so she can go hang out, go lay around with her new little boyfriend. She gonna go drop him off. You think that child don't pay attention to that? Every time I look, you look up, you're trying to get rid of him. That, that boy see that that boy see that man coming out of the house two, three o'clock in the morning. You think children or oh, they sleep. Them children be up. They be up three o'clock in the morning. And they be hearing everything that's going on in that room. And they see them men coming in and out of the house. And as that child grow up, he has no respect for you. And in turn, he don't have a lot of respect for black women because it goes all the way back to their mama. Now, of course, I'm not saying that you should walk around not having therapy because a lot of these brothers do need therapy. They really do. And it's okay to go get therapy about what happened in your childhood and how it affected you. Because, you know, black men are always trying to be told our feelings don't matter and stop being weak and, and, oh, what you being emotional for you acting like a girl. And, you know, it just forms of abuse that happens to black men. A lot of times this whole society has taught everyone to, you know, downcast, downtrodden, and just put down black men. This whole American society has done that. It's on autopilot when it comes to us as black men. And the only thing that we can do as black men is take our power back by getting into therapy if we have some issues like this and then moving forward. That's why a lot of them brothers like the Passport Bro movement so much is because it gives them a freedom of choice. It actually gets them to get away from everything. Everybody, this whole American society has taught them to be anti-black. Even, even in our own community, we have anti-blackness. So a lot of times the brothers that don't know what's going on or feel worse and feel bad about what just happened, most on these females. 
And that's why that's why some of these brothers will be so turned up like that. And some of them want to even have a conversation about black. Women. And of course, that's not an excuse. It's all, listen, every time a black man has something to say, how you feel is never is never an excuse. It's never a reason. It's never because see, is nothing black men can say good enough. Nothing black men can say good enough to suffice th- some of them. So that's why I tell brothers don't worry about what they say. Just just do you whatever you think that may be. Because you need to get some healing and you get, need to get some peace from somewhere of what happened in your childhood. But let me know what y'all think about what this brother talking about and, and have some of you brothers um, been put in a situation like that, that you went to a house, female house, you didn't know her kids were there and the son saw you or something like that. Let us know.